Hey everyone, welcome back to Bluebot Tech. I'm Zach, and today we're going to be going over how to set up DuckDNS. Now, DuckDNS is a free dynamic DNS provider, and that's right, I said free. It is 100% free. No contracts, no strings attached, super simple. But the best part about having a dynamic DNS provider is the ability to always find your way essentially home back to your network. So a lot of our ISPs assign us something like a dynamic IP address where it changes on a pretty random basis. Um, but what DuckDNS does is it sets you a static host name that is always mapped to whatever your current IP address is. So you always know exactly where your network is on the internet. Now this is great for projects like Home Assistant, PyVPN, or really anything you may want to get back to and connect to on your personal network. So DuckDNS is super easy to set up. It takes about five minutes and can be installed on anything from Windows, Mac OS X, or you know, if you want a Raspberry Pi, which is exactly what we'll be setting it up on today. All right, so let's jump into it. Okay, so let's jump into it. As we mentioned, we're going to be going over Duck DNS today. And as you can see, this is a free dynamic DNS hosted on AWS. Now, dynamic DNS, why this is important, especially when you're doing things like Pi VPN or want to remotely connect to Home Assistant or really remotely connect to anything. You have you know, a normal internet service, you're most likely going to have some sort of dynamic IP. That means it's changing at you know the will of your internet provider. Now, mine doesn't change often, but when it does, obviously to keep those services working, I need to know what my IP is. So that's where DuckDNS comes in. Now, this is free. However, if you're using it, I'd highly suggest donating to these guys. They're doing a huge service for a bunch of us that isn't always that easy and everywhere else it's paid. So you can log in with many different personas. So keep it easy. I have my Gmail linked. Now, as you can see, just to show you how this all works, you have, of course, your account, the type, and then you get a token. Sorry, that's covered up though. And then when our token was generated and when it was created. So go ahead and set up a new domain. Bluebot Tech. Okay, so we've added our domain and it automatically gets my IP based on where I'm coming from via my browser. And then if we want to delete the domain, it's as simple as clicking delete domain. Now you can install this and it's going to update DuckDNS with your current IP about every five minutes, I believe. Of course, you could always change that. So to install this, and today we're going to be using a Raspberry Pi, but it lists a ton of different operating systems. You can set it up on your router or many other, you know, dynamic DNS or DNS Omatic. I haven't used the other two, so I'm not sure what exactly they are. Now, since we're setting up on a Pi, I'm going to go ahead and click Pi. We'll go down here and choose our domain of Bluebot Tech. Of course, now our domain will be http colon slash slash bluebottech.duckdns.org. As you can see, it lists all the commands that we need to install this on a Raspberry Pi. So, of course, first of all, we're going to SSH into our Pi, which I've already done via PuTTY here. And then if you wanted to, you could simply paste all of these commands in. So go make dir duckdns. And it's there. See here. And then we will do cd into that. Now we'll vi duck.sh. And we're going to copy this entire command. Now, pretty sure they list how to do this if you want to, but go ahead and right click copy. And then if we want to insert this, uh, we need to go into insert mode. So I, and then a simple way to paste into VI through PuTTY is hold shift and then insert. Okay, so that's done. We've pasted everything we need. Now we'll simply hit escape to get out of insert mode. And then we'll type colon WQ to save. Okay, if we want, we can show that that is in fact in there and we're good to go. Now they set everything up for you. As you can see, our Bluebot tech and our token are already added in there. But now we will change the permissions on that. All right, go to our cron tab. 
let's scroll down here to the bottom. You can see I have some stuff commented from other projects. We'll simply copy and paste this in. Paste that one more time. There we go. So simply just a copy and then a right mouse click, and that will do the trick. So we'll control X to exit. Save it, and then we can check our cron tab by doing a cron tab tack L. And as we can see, it is in there and it's not commented out, so it should be active. Okay, so now we'll test the script with a dot slash duck.sh and run that script. Okay, now we'll cat our duck.log and we should see OK. And as you can see, it puts it right over here, and so we are good. Now, what we'll do is service cron start. Okay, so now that should be running, and it should automatically update our cron or update our duck DNS every time or every five minutes with our new IP. Now if we go back to DuckDNS, we can see it was updated four minutes ago, and this won't say it was updated until our IP address actually changes. And here, as you can see, when did this last update at 1401? It's now 1402. If I would run that duck.sh again, as we can see, we just updated our duck.log at 1403. And if we cat that duck.log again, see, okay, so it's successfully updating. We'll go ahead and clear that. And it's as easy as that to set up DuckDNS. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it was short, super simple. But like I said, DuckDNS is a really powerful service, and we're going to be able to refer back to this video for some upcoming projects. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Okay, I hope that was super simple for everybody. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. While you're there, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe. It really helps us out, and we'll see you in the next one.